What is true about filmmaking, and it's the part I love, is that it's like a mini world. It's a, it's a mini, um, the country of, of cinematic creativity. So in any given moment you see on the film, uh, there's the creative idea, which is kind of the easy part. The difficult part is realizing that in a physical sense. There are thousands of people behind the scenes and you really don't know or think about it if you're not here. And we see them come and go every single day. A million things are going past the audience in every frame. You know, if you could get all the people's jobs to stand up you know, behind every frame, you'd have just ranks of people. And action! My name's Joe Segreto. I'm a firefighter here for Engine 18 here at the movie studios. My name is Will Blount, and I'm a prop master. My name is Debbie Pearl, and I'm an animal trainer. I'm Carl Ludwig, and I write rendering software. My name is Matthew, and uh, I'm involved with mail services. It's very important because, for example, I get uh, Clint Eastwood's mail. You gotta make sure that Clint Eastwood gets his mail. So it's, it's very important. So many people involved in the making of a film. And we're sitting here in an edit bay. This is the this is the, uh, the the editor's assistant's office. The editor's upstairs. There's other people outside. They're in an ADR room right now. We booked the room. We have sound designers, sound editors. When the film is going on, there's an army of people working. I'm David Lee Fine. I'm Greg Barbonell. And we're Foley artists. Foley artists, we watch the picture and whatever moves in the picture, whether it's person, prop, or animal, we make a sound for using ourselves and props. Yeah, we're lucky. Between us, we've been doing this 50 years, and it's been a blast. My name's Ed Verreau, and I'm a production designer. Raiders of the Lost Ark was the first film I worked on. The first sequence that we storyboarded was the chase sequence where the guys have got the, the ark in the box and they're taken off across the desert. And I have other artists that I work with who can make concept drawings. From the conceptual stage, then you actually go into the blueprint stage and then you have to have construction crews that you know, build these sets. As the sets are being built, then on board comes the painters. There's a lot of overlapping action with lots, lots and lots of different people. We need to be able to have this continuum of talent and people that know how to build sets, to know how to build complicated Rococo cornices on the buildings. Hey, come on! My name is David Goldstein, and I'm a set painter in the motion picture business. My name is Bo Warner, and I'm a welder. My job is I usually work underneath and close to the production designer. Anything the common person sees on a movie and just takes for granted that it's on a location is 90% of the time something built on a soundstage. Plasterers, carpenters, costume people, you know, cutters, mat painters, these are all necessary. Even when it becomes all digital, you still need certain kinds of people. My name is Gilbert Flores Sr. and I'm old plaster. My name is Gilbert Flores Jr. I'm a third generation mold maker, model maker for the motion picture industry. My name is James Weiser. I'm a film inspector. Hi, my name is Dave Torres. I'm a character animator. It's mine! Take a scene, for example, like in the final scene in Mario, she's got a headdress on. Behind the very clothes she wears, there's a room full of, you know, 25 milliners who have for months and months and months been sewing those beads on. My name is Magdalena Cuny, and we make the costumes for all the shows.
I'm Anthony Cook. I play the cello. My name is John Lewis. I'm a trumpet player. My name is Brian O'Connor, and I'm a French horn player. It can set an entire tone or mood of the film, and it, it shades and colors the entire way they even see the film. So I think it's critical. And the better it is, the better the film. I'm Chris Wedge, and I'm a director. I'm Don Reynolds, and I'm a grip. I'm Alicia Irwin, and I'm a Foley artist. I am Lorraine Maru, and I am a wardrobe costumer. Wow! Wow! I'm Angie Wells, and I am a makeup artist for film and television. It's very hard to be a film makeup artist and only do beauty. Because... Sometimes they need a cut, or they need a bruise, or they need a bullet hole. And you've got to be able to do that. My name is Manny Perry, and I'm a stunt coordinator. I'm Josh McClaglin, I'm an assistant director. I'm Jim Bresnahan, and I'm a computer animator. Hello, my name is Carl Casera. I'm a set dresser. This is uh, the Gilmore Girls. It's a one-hour episodic, and it's set in Connecticut. And basically what they do in this small town is we have the changing of the seasons. They have fall festivals, they have winter festivals, and our job is to just, you know, provide all the dressing for these, in this case, exterior sets. We have a set decorator that works in conjunction with an art director. They pick furniture and styles and make the set whatever it's supposed to be. I'm Ronnie Wexler, and I'm a supervisor here in the prop department. This is where they get all of the decorative items, stuff that goes in a counter, on a tabletop, or in a credenza, you name it. All the small stuff comes out of here. The set decorator walks in and tags all the items that are necessary. And then their crew follows them in, usually within a day or so, and pulls all the items off of the shelves and brings it up to the counter where it's all checked out, piece by piece by piece. I'm Brad Warner, and I'm a Team Sierra driver. Well, it's a big department. All the equipment has to get there. It's too heavy to be just pushed around. And the size of the streets, the weight in and out of the stages are so tight that it really takes a skill. Saddle up, partner. My name is Scott Helms, and I'm an assistant prop master. Props are basically anything an actor handles, anything as small as a watch to uh, something more complicated like weaponry, guns, ha uh, handguns, gunfire, it's all props. Okay, here we go, rehearsal, stand by. Your guaranteed day is 12 hours, um, plus launch is 12 and a half, plus travel time is 13, so you're guaranteed to work 13 hours a day. You don't know when you're going to wrap, and you don't know what your call time is going to be the next day, and you don't know when your job's going to end or when the next one's going to start. So it takes a really passionate person uh, to, to, to work in this business, and a lot of people can't handle the uncertainty. And it's tough, but you got to love what you do, and most people here do. It's a genuine life. It's not just a job. It's a life choice. People's commitment, involvement, and care for that work is extraordinarily intertwined with their life. And we all try like crazy, and we all do the best we can, you know? And people don't realize that it's that difficult. So that's what's wonderful about the industry. Every category tends to be driven by passion. There are many, many, many thousands and thousands of people who basically are working for a living and have to work very hard because we do never know where the next job or the next film is going to come from. simply hundreds and hundreds of people with all kinds of expertise and from all kinds of backgrounds earn their living and their life from creating that little piece of magic on screen.